The Lightning Storm Druid makes you really feel like you wield the power of the Thunder Gods. It's playable at level 25 and it has huge AoE and single target, contrary to what everyone else is saying on the internet. This build is pretty easy to play, but it requires a little bit of finesse and resource management to really be effective. Looking at some of our main skills, you go Wind Shear. Wind Shear is really good at generating your resource, and then the modifier that you go with is Fierce, as Fierce gives you more run speed every time it hits something. And then for the core skills, of course you max out Lightning Storm. I went Raging for the Rune, just because I wanted to have a little bit more AoE as I'm leveling, but in reality, you're supposed to be using Primal. And then for the passives, Abundance gives you more spirit, while Wild Impulses uses your spirit, but you do more damage. And for the summoning skills, you use all of them, and you're supposed to go with the Ferocious passives on each one of them. So Ferocious Wolves, Poison Creeper, and Ravens. I went with Brutal. Again, I'm leveling in the early levels right now. You're supposed to technically go with Ferocious for the vulnerability. In the Wrath skills, Trample is actually one of your main sources of resource generation when you're mid-combat and in between fights. And for the storm passives, you can kind of do whatever you want. I actually really like the passive that makes lightning bolts fall on things, so I have to strike less. In the ultimate section, you don't actually choose any of them, but all of the nature-oriented passives, which are these four up here. Defiance, Circle of Life, Resonance, and Natural Disaster. And then for the key passive, I go with Nature's Fury. I like it the most. Every time you're using one of your storm skills, eventually you get an earth skill in there somewhere. Really? You doing this mirror now? There it is. There it is. Now some of the core passives that you want to get right when you hit level 25 are shepherds. Now this one, every for every single pet that you have out, your storm skills do more damage. Intercom makes it so that the longer you're standing still, the more damage you deal. Retaliation gives you more damage based on how much fortify you have, and your wolves actually proc fortify on striking. And then lastly, you have overcharge that gives you a chance to overload your targets, dealing even more AoE damage around them. And if you find yourself taking more damage than you desire, disobedience is going to give you a ton of armor, while might offers 20% damage reduction every time you're using an auto attack, which is pretty common because that's how you generate your spirit on a druid. The main offensive stats that you want are pretty normal, like crit chance, crit damage, storm skill damage, and willpower. And the defenses that you want, they're pretty traditional, like life, armor, and resistances. Like I said earlier, playing this build isn't very difficult, but it definitely has a few quirks and tricks to it. For example, with Lightning Storm, I can sit here and spam the click as much as I want, but you notice the amount of bolts doesn't actually increase. So instead, what you want to do is hold it down and you'll start generating more bolts. Give yourself a little bit more spirit, hold it down again, and now you can sit there and just kind of love tap it. So generate some spirit, tap, 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 tap and the whole room just dies. Now your minions do a really good job at keeping things busy while their cooldowns come in real handy and you can use them for full room clearing or even melting bosses. Like I said, this build is super fun and it can easily get you into tier three and tier four without any issues. And it even has an end game set up for it as well. Now, you know, I gotta ask if you are playing this season, what kind of builds are you trying? You'll have to let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you ever wanna catch me live, I've started streaming all of my Diablo adventures here on YouTube. So look out for that. Do me a favor and if you haven't already, like comment or even subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and again if you're bored youtube's gonna recommend this next one for you happy grinding my friends and we'll see you in sanctuary